What does it mean to be a man in today's society? This is a question that has been asked countless times, yet the answer remains as complex and nuanced as ever. Traditionally, masculinity has been associated with strength, dominance, and stoicism. Men were expected to be the unshakable rock, the provider, the protector. But over time, these notions have evolved. Society has begun to recognize that this narrow definition can lead to emotional repression, toxic behavior, and ultimately, a lack of fulfillment. Now we find ourselves in a time of redefining what it means to be a man. The conversation is shifting towards the idea of healthy masculinity, a concept that embraces emotional intelligence, sensitivity, and authenticity. It's about understanding that being a man isn't about fitting into a rigid mold, but about being true to oneself while respecting and empathizing with others. The definition of masculinity is changing and it's important to understand what healthy masculinity looks like. Have you ever considered how emotional intelligence and vulnerability play into your masculinity? There's a common misconception that these traits are somehow a chink in the armor of manhood. But this couldn't be further from the truth. Emotional intelligence, the ability to understand, use, and manage your own emotions in positive ways to relieve stress, communicate effectively, empathize with others, overcome challenges and diffuse conflict, is a cornerstone of healthy masculinity. It's what allows us to build strong, fulfilling relationships, to navigate life's ups and downs, and to make wise decisions. Now let's talk about vulnerability. It's often seen as a sign of weakness, yet it's anything but. Vulnerability is the courage to show up and be seen, to embrace our imperfections, to risk disappointment and heartache for the possibility of connection and joy. It's a powerful tool in personal growth and in fostering deeper, more meaningful relationships. Emotional intelligence and vulnerability are not weaknesses, but strengths that contribute to healthy masculinity. So how can you cultivate this healthy masculinity in your everyday life? Let's start with empathy, the cornerstone of emotional intelligence. Empathy is about understanding others' feelings as if we were wearing their shoes. It's about listening, not just hearing. It's about seeing the world from another's perspective. This practice will foster deeper connections and build trust in your relationships. Next, let's talk about expressing emotions openly. We've all heard it. Real men don't cry. But let's challenge that. Real men do cry. They feel, they hurt, and they express their emotions. Suppressing emotions can lead to stress and other health issues, so let's normalize men expressing their feelings. Lastly, seeking help when needed is not a sign of weakness, but of strength. It takes courage to acknowledge when you're struggling and to reach out for support. Nurturing healthy masculinity involves challenging societal norms and embracing your emotions. So let's redefine strength and courage together.